What is going on guys? Nick here again today. Back to another video. Today we're going to be ranking the top 20 running backs 2015 fantasy football season. And I've basically broken it down into three tiers. Um, tier 1, obviously the best, the elite guys. I have five there. Um, I have a little more, maybe like, I don't know, seven or eight in the second tier. We'll see in a second when that pops up. And then the third tier. So basically, these guys um, are going to be going, in a lot of drafts, they're going to be going one through five because they're basically the best players. Um, if you watch my top five video, you'll see, I think I have um, Antonio Brown ranked fourth or fifth. It depends really how I'm feeling that day. But here's the start. Adrian Peterson, I think he's going to have a monster year. He's only had one year ever where he didn't get uh, 1,000 yards and 10 touchdowns, and it was last year. But every other year that he's played more than one game, he's gone off. So he's pretty much a surefire thing. Eddie Lacy, high-powered offense, definitely going to be great this year. Lynch, touchdown machine. Bell, I mean, he just gets a ton of receptions. He's going to be out the first two games, and that's basically why he's not number one. Um, a lot of people, you know, I wouldn't argue with you taking him number one because, to be honest, for the rest of the year, he's the number one running back in my opinion. Um, so, I mean, if you could draft him number one and then just take D'Angelo Williams, um, who's going to be starting weeks one and two. So, I mean, that's a fine strategy. But you have to make sure you do get Williams in, like, the, the later half of the draft, maybe around 12, 13 kind of area. Probably 12. You don't, you don't want to make sure someone doesn't take him, though. Um, and then Jamal Charles, a lot of people have him higher than I do, but I don't know. I, I guess I, I like to play in the leagues that have, like, the uh, five-point bonus for 100-yard rushing. And he just he's not one of those guys that's going to get 100-yard rushing. He's going to get, like... 75 rushing 50 receiving maybe catch a touchdown it's a great it's a great game but i'd rather have these guys at the top that are going to get me consistently like bell's going to get 100 yard rushing games lynch is going to lacy ap i'd rather have those guys ahead um that's why i think i have antonio brown ranked fifth i believe i have him ranked fifth um ahead of jamal charles just because he's more sure fired but now i'm going to bring up the second tier and these are basically the guys that i pop it up here now these are the guys that I would take probably after I took the elite wide receivers. So I'd take uh, the first four guys, then probably Antonio Brown, then Jamal Charles, and then I'd take the guys like um, Demarius Thomas, Julio Jones, Dez, probably take Gronk in there, and then I'd start getting to these guys. So I'd want to have, if I took CJ Anderson, I'd want to have like an Antonio Brown or something. That'd be great if you're at the end of the first round. Yeah, Antonio Brown, then CJ Anderson. That's great. But I have CJ Anderson, uh, Jeremy Hill. Forsett, Murray, McCoy, Forte, and Morris. Um, Anderson, definitely just because, I mean, he's he's definitely going to at least start the year. It's going to be his job to lose in Denver. They want to run more. They've got Manny as a quarterback. I mean, he's going to have a great year, I feel like. And I wouldn't have a problem if you put him in that first tier. Uh, Jeremy Hill finished the year great last year. He's going to be the goal line back. They got a lot of weapons on that team. I think he's going to be – he's probably going to get around 1,300 yards, 10 touchdowns. So definitely um, a great talent to have on your team. He's, he's fine as a number one. Uh, four set, age is a little bit of an issue with him um, on the Ravens, but he really doesn't have anyone challenging him for the job. And I feel like they're going to have to run more than they throw just because, I mean, they lost Torrey Smith. They have Perriman, but, I mean, Steve Smith is, um, he's like, what, 36 now? He's getting older. Um, he's, I don't know. They don't have a lot of weapons to pass to. So I feel like they're going to run the ball a lot. Uh, Murray obviously had the great year last year. He's in the Chip Kelly offense this year. Because, um, he got traded to – no, what am I saying? He didn't get traded. He, um, he signed there, free agency. Uh, there was a different trade that happened with the Eagles. Um, but, yeah, I think he's going to have a good year. He's definitely not going to get the touches he got last year. Uh, if you're going to draft him, you need to draft Ryan Matthews as a uh, handcuff. And even if you want to draft Ryan Matthews as, like, a flex, that's fine. He's probably going to get about 10 touches a game. In that offense so um i don't know it's just he's there um i believe sprawls is still there I'm, I'm not sure about that don't quote me on that but um i don't know i just don't see him he's definitely not gonna put it we did last year and just with the health and issue not getting as many touches i don't know i don't trust him as much um i mean he's fine here as like a low end one but if you're gonna have that you want an elite wide receiver with him um then mccoy i have next I mean, he's going from, like, the second-best offensive line to a terrible offensive line, a worse team. They have no – they really have no passing on that team at all They have, besides Watkins because um, he got traded to the Bills. He did get traded. He did get traded to the Bills. He did sign. Um, 
I don't know. I, I, I don't like him this year. I won't have many teams because I know a lot of people have him ranked higher than I do. And, I mean, I'm taking a ton of wide receivers before him. And I, I just don't want him on my teams. Uh, Forte, he's getting older. I don't think they're going to pass to him as much out of the backfield. And, really, who are they going to throw to? It's like Alshon Jeffrey and Kevin White, who's injured right now. So, teams going to be able to stack the box against him. And he's already not that great of a running back. You look at his yards per carry, it's really not that good. He relies a lot on his catches. So having him here at the 11th spot, I mean, if you can get him as your two, I guess, if you want to roll with the, like, Adrian Peterson, Matt Forte combo, but then I don't I don't like doing that because then you really don't have that great wide receivers. So I probably won't end up with him on a lot of teams, but I will end up with Morris on a lot because I love him. Since entering the league, he's been fantastic, super consistent. I mean, he's literally, he's going to get you 12, 1,300 rushing yards. Maybe if you're receiving, he's really not that great receiving, though he's working on it. He's going to get you like 11 touchdowns, and that is great. If I want to do wide receiver, wide receiver, and then Alfred Morris is my number one, after having like Dez and Julio and then have Morris fall to me, I'm perfectly happy with that team. They want to run more um, to set up the play action, and I think he's going to be fantastic this year. People are always sleeping on him, not putting him uh, where they should be. I mean, he's he's falling in drafts a lot, and I don't know why. I mean, he's he's so consistent. He's so consistent since entering the league. It's ridiculous. I definitely want him on my team. That rounds up to Tier 2. Now it's Tier 3. And to start, basically, these guys are all guys that have a ton of potential, but there's not that much proven. Maybe they have injury risk. And there's just things wrong with them, basically. You look at Stewart. I don't, he definitely hasn't played a full year in his career. But when you look at the end of last year, and with no one behind him besides maybe Cameron Artis Payne, um, I believe he's a rookie this year, who if you draft Stewart, you need to draft. Um, there's really no one challenging him for the starting job right now. So if he stays healthy, I mean, he's top 10. I mean, he's he was fantastic at the end of last year. Um, but again, he never stays healthy. So you got to keep that in mind. Can't draft him as your number one. You can't really draft any of these guys as number one unless you do the zero RB strategy and you take like three elite wide receivers in the beginning, then it really doesn't matter what your running backs are. You can take flyers. The next guy, Gore, left San Francisco to join the Colts. Uh, I mean, he's in a great position. He's got an, a prolific, fantastic passing offense. Teams are never going to be able to stack the box. He's going to get rushing touchdowns. He's going to get rushing yards. It's can he stay healthy and can he keep ahead of um, Daniel Herron? That's basically the questions. I do like him. I've ended up with him in a lot of mock drafts. That I've done, and I'll probably end up with him on a lot of teams, um, just because people are kind of iffy on the age there. But next guy, Murray, I love him. I mean, he's got like Jamal Charles speed with like Marshawn Lynch body. I mean, it's ridiculous. He's he's fantastic. He's a fantastic athlete. But then again, it's on the Raiders, and you never know what the Raiders are gonna do. Um, but the thing is, his main competition is Trent Richardson, and um, he's not good. So he's got no one to beat out unless unless something awful happens. He's the starting running back. He was great at the end of last year. He's a great talent, super fast. Um, and really the offense is getting a lot better. I mean, Derek Carr is not good. Don't don't sleep don't actually he's really not even average. He's definitely below average. But they just got Amari Cooper. They got um what's his name? Crabtree. They've still got Rivera, I believe, at tight end. So they're putting the pieces together, and I think he's, if he stays healthy for the whole year, he's definitely worth the value you're getting right here. Um, if you could promise me that he stays healthy all year, I'd probably move him up to like 10th in my rankings because he's that good. But the thing is, he does have a lot of injury problems. I mean, he had the concussion last year. He missed his whole rookie season with like a leg injury of some kind. I don't, I don't remember what it was, but you can't really trust him to stay healthy. But then again, you can't really trust anyone to stay healthy in the running back position. It's such a scary position. So... You take what you can get at this point. Next is Hyde. Um, he's really the only guy there in uh, for the 49ers. But, I don't know, it's the 49ers. They Who's their best receiver? Like, Bolden and Torrey Smith. I don't like Cap. I don't like the 49ers in general. It's just, ah, they're just not a good team. They're going to be down a lot. They're going to be throwing. He's, I mean, he's good. But, again, all these guys on this list have problems with them. I have him at 16. I guess you can move him up a little bit, but not that much. Uh, next guy is Gordon. Obviously, this is his rookie year. It's a great fit for him on that team. Uh, he's not going to be a three-down back because he's not that good at pass blocking or catching. Um, they're going to have Woodhead for that. And Woodhead's definitely a sleeper. If you're in PPR, Woodhead, pick him up. But um, 
I don't know. He he's fantastic. I mean, he's an amazing running back. He's not hurt like Todd Gurley is. That's why he's off my rankings right now. But he's not going to be three down. He's going to get goal line work. It's a good offense, but he's also a rookie. They're probably going to ease him in. I mean, I don't think they're going to throw him in and get him like 23 touches a game. There's no way they want to do that. But, I mean, I think he can get 18 carries a game, which on this part of the list, if he stays healthy, he's worth it. Um, he's worth it as an RB2, I believe, um, if you have a good wide receiver. So RB2 for him. Next, Lamar Miller. Um, I I like him as fantasy. Like, fantasy owners loved him last year, but I guess the team wasn't that into him. Um, I cannot remember the guy that's behind him right now. Um, Jay Ajay, that's who it is. Um, they really like him down there. Uh, he's a more complete back. So, I don't know. If you're going to draft Lamar Miller, you definitely have to draft Ajay as your handcuff. Uh, really, all these guys, you want to grab their handcuff. But next is uh, Mark Ingram. Pierre Thomas left. Looks like it's open for him to get basically all of the workload. But, I don't know, he's really not that great of running back to me. He's going to have those weeks where he gets 30 carries for 100 yards and a touchdown, and you're going to love him. But he's going to have those weeks where he gets 10 carries for 30 yards and no touchdowns, and you're going to hate him. So, he's a risk, definitely. I wouldn't have a problem if you moved him up because I think he gets less injuries and he's a little little bit more consistent than some of these guys might be. But I have him down here because I just really don't like him that much. The last guy, Joseph Randall. He's here on sheer upside. If, he stayed, if you told me that he was healthy for 16 games out of the year, I'm taking him probably in like 12 range. He's like almost a low end one, and you're buying him a low end two. It's like a lottery ticket with him. Anyone behind that line is going to be great, and that's why if you draft him, you draft Lance Dunbar too, because you know what? If he goes down, you have Dunbar, and the talent is going to be a little bit of downgraded Dunbar, but it's not that much. Don't draft McFadden. He's already hurt both of his hamstrings in like training camp. It's ridiculous. He's terrible. Don't draft him. Draft Joseph Randall. Go to round 12. Draft Dunbar. You're good to go. That's it for the top 20 rankings in the three tiers. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, leave a like. Subscribe if you're new. Coming out with a couple more strategy videos, draft tips, all that, some rankings. And that's it for today.